One of the great ironies of my life is that I write, I am a writer for illiterates. If I hadn't become an artist, I probably would have become a serial killer. I would say that it helps if you, if the writer remembers. Most of our memories of childhood are either scary moments or happy moments. The safety of childhood was something I was reluctant to leave behind. Inevitably, it becomes almost uh, easier to sort of make the fable of your own life. The compass I use is just always my own interest. What, what will make the best story? Good stories are they're almost on a rescue mission. We often think that kids are eager for escape and fantasy. And actually, uh, especially if we talk about kids in kindergarten, first and second grade, what kids are eager for is organization. I often think that when people say uh, fairy tales are cautionary or they teach you how to behave, they're actually not remembering them. To them, the world is chaotic. Things come at them like, you know, from the left, from the right, it's all upside down. It's actually part of like every child's survival kit. The lore, the deep, lore of children's literature is that it offers at once the um, excitement of a journey, of an adventure, and the reassurance of a return. I always, I think of my books as safe scares, because kids can have these, read the books, have these creepy adventures, go out, fight the ghosts, fight the monsters, and know that they're safe in their room at the same time. I create in my mind a world that although it doesn't exist, and that can't exist and therefore it's fantasy. To me, it is completely real. I mean, when you're a very young child, you're crying every day at least once. <laughs> if you did that in your adult life, it would be an indication that something is very, very wrong. You know, and I often think that, that a one-year-old will cry 20 times a day. And that yet we think of like, oh, well, that's the age where you're taken care of and you don't have a worry in the world. But, you know, if you cried 20 times a day, it would probably be the worst day of your life.